I mean, earlier this year, the Trinity Forum in Bangkok, you outlined a brand new approach to the tender process, one of three that were proposed actually at, the t um, at that particular event. Um, your approach was determined by performance rather than simply by the highest bid, where risk and reward were effectively shared by airport owner and concession partner, and where the contract was not simply one of one-way traffic in favour of the airport authority. Are you finding that your business model has fallen on deaf ears, or are your partners genuinely beginning to think and act differently? I think it's early to judge whether that um, provocation or, or suggestion can, can really yield uh, a change in approach. Uh, what, what I talked about at Trinity is basically the fact that this industry is changing dramatically. I mean, it's changed so rapidly in the last 20 years, and uh, we're now facing a much more uh, challenging times in terms of uh, growth not being there as strong as it used to be in the past. And if you look at the long term, an industry to be in good shape needs to be able to attract capital. And uh, what is happening nowadays is the relationship between risk and reward is going more and more to be penalizing the retailer. Uh, and and uh, why is that? Because of the access to the market. Uh, how do you access to the market? You participate to the tender model. And uh, think about it, you are with four of your competitors at least to bid for the same space. And among the things you need to talk about is what is your business plan? Now, with four competitors together with you, which business case would you present? The worst case, best case, or the middle case? You definitely present the best case That's scenario. Brain. So, ultimately, chances that uh, reality is better than your forecasts are very low. Chances that reality is as your forecasts are decent, but chances that reality are worse than your forecasts are higher than higher. So, Add to that the tendency to this strong counter rigidity with the max structure, the risk and reward relationship is really going down the drain. And, and ultimately, there is a risk that less and less capital will be attracted to the, to the business. Now, I don't think we can talk about an opportunity to remove the mag because when an airport chooses a retailer, they put a lot of eggs in the retailer's basket. And not only because they have to deliver revenues, but because the retailer deliver quality, passenger experience, and so on. So the airport has to have a system to control the performance of the retailer. Now, the question is, is the MAG the right solution? And from my point of view, MAG should be fixed being the minimum target that the airport expects and equal for all the bidders. So you don't make a difference in terms of bidders that you know, may want to have uh, a specific uh, uh, contract because of market share purpose and so on. MAG should not participate to the selection process. There are many other components, concession fee, uh, the qualitative uh, part of your business plan and so on and so forth. The question next is, how do you protect the airport um, if MAG is the same for everybody? Well, look at different experiences B2B industries. I mean, we are not the only industry where a company relies heavily on another company for its critical business objectives. Look at the IT industry, for example. And how do companies protect themselves? They go on a very strong and strict service level agreement. Why don't we use service level agreement as a means for airport to protect their interest, even including penalties if the retailer doesn't deliver. Because if retailer doesn't hire people, they have long queues, they don't have product availability, that is a problem for the airport. But the MAG is not the only solution to control retailer's performance, from my point of view. You're actually asking airport authorities to effectively completely change their financial culture. Their, the, the mindset that they have only seems to be um, set in one particular mold. It's, it's a big ask. I don't believe it's a big ask because if you look at the, if you look at all the contracts around the world, there are, the rule is that the, you are above the minimum guarantee. Uh, so from an industry perspective, this shouldn't change that much. Uh, 
and I'm even saying let's maintain the mag. Uh, what I'm proposing is for those who look at the mag as an important component, try to think of other components that are more beneficial in the long term because mag yes can give you good benefit in the short term but in the long term going back to the issue how we can attract more capital more energy more management quality in delivering good retail in this industry the mag is not the solution